Hi, I'm Ted Rogers, and this is History by the Plate. Today we're going to talk about braising. Braising is a cooking technique that combines the best of both dry heat cooking and moist heat cooking. You see, in braising, typically the, the meat or poultry is seared at a very high heat to char the outside, but it's finished at a lower heat when the cook then lowers the heat and adds a liquid such as broth or wine or a mixture of the two, covers the, the pot, and then allows that to simmer, usually for a fairly long period of time. And the result is amazing. The result is meat or poultry that is deeply, deeply infused with flavor and even cheaper cuts of meat are fall off the bone tender. Braising, like so many other great cooking techniques, originated in France in the mid-18th century and gained widespread popularity there in the 19th century. My wife and I first encountered the technique done extremely well at what is now one of our favorite restaurants in the world, Brasserie Leap, which is also on one of our favorite streets in the world, Rue de Saint-Germain in Paris. A young Ernest Hemingway talked about Brasserie Leap in his early book, A Movable Feast, in which he wrote about his time in Paris in the 1920s, just 40 years after the establishment of Brasserie Leap. Like almost everything in cooking and in life, the right tools make all the difference in the world. Technically, one can braise in any pot with a lid, but a good brazer has a special lid like this. Now see these dimples spread evenly across the lid surface there. Those are so the condensation that when, when you add the broth and you heat it back up to simmer, so the condensation will form on these dimples and then drip evenly down into the pot so that it effectively bastes the meat or the poultry as you're cooking. <clears throat> Excuse me. So instead, uh, if you did not have these dimples here, the condensation would just roll off the lid and come in through the side. So with the dimples here, that way it distributes the condensation evenly across the food as you're cooking. This then provides basically basting for the meat and poultry. Now, you can find special braising pans, or you can use a Dutch oven. But if you can, try to find one that has a tight-fitting lid like this with these dimples um, because you'll find that that does make a big difference in the braising. On Friday, I will post one of my very favorite recipes for braised chicken. It is super tasty and easy to make. In the meantime, I hope this has been helpful. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also please check out our website at www.historybytheplate.com for lots of other tasty recipes, fun historical tidbits, as well as time-saving techniques. See you Friday!